So I just want to be really real with guys to say that we don't have a perfect database of 100% authentic. You no, know, you're going to get uh, your bad apples, that's for sure. Ernesto, I've got a couple of surprises for you. One big, big one and one big one. Which one do you want first? Big, big or big? Go big or go home. Wow, uh, just shoot, shoot, lay it out. Just shoot. Okay. So, Ernesto, one of the one of the um, gifts I've got for you is in the match guarantee partnership in our VIP flag flagship product, the expensive one. Uh, we offer a guarantee. You'll meet your match guarantee. Mm -hmm. We work with you until you walk down the aisle. You meet as many women as it takes, over as many years as it takes until you walk down the aisle. I want to extend that to your unlimited matchmaking partnership product. Uh, so it's the most expensive part of it. Because, um, you know, first of all, I just know when my head, heart and gut you're going to be successful. Thank you, Joe. You know, this means a lot. Uh -huh. And it's an honor. It's an honor to work with you too. It really is. It has been fun and mm -hmm. honor and the end result makes it all worthwhile. For you to have yeah, met. you guys are the real deal. Thanks, my friend. Yeah. I'm very honored. That's a noble, noble thing to do for me, and that proves your loyalty and your concern for customers, your clients. Yeah. And that's that's very very special. And it shows that match guarantee lives up to its name. And the match guarantee is a real deal. Well, thanks, my friend. You, uh, hopefully, you you feel you've been here for two weeks. I'm so invested in your success. I put myself in your shoes, and it's just not not an option for you to not walk mm -hmm. down the aisle here in my mind. And I fervently believe that with every mm -hmm. fiber of my being. So for me. You know, to extend this to you, to extend a guarantee that you'll walk down the aisle, you'll meet your future wife through us, it's, uh, it's an honor to work with you and I'm very happy to do that and I believe that it's going to happen for you, absolutely. So people in the industry think this is, I've been told, crazy, you can't do this, you can't guarantee a match, but I can tell you I'm so confident with you and with other clients that I take on that after we talk to you on the free coaching call and we have you remember that time and you really shared because you were going through some um, <laughs> difficult you had a bit of a challenge a little yeah. bit of difficulties deciding yeah, well to come here or not right? yeah and with who to come you gotta just look through the bullshit you know because there's a lot of companies that just want your money or think you don't fit their standards yeah. and no, you, you just got to see through all that mess. Yeah. Eventually, you're going to find, like I said, it takes time to research a good good company, a good, good service. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you'll find one. I found one. Mm -hmm. And Match Guarantee is definitely one of those. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate that vote of confidence. Uh, I was going to say, you know, the other thing is talking about genuine ladies versus ones that, let's say, are not so genuine. Maybe they have a hidden agenda. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want to say about that? You've been on some uh, you know, eight or nine dates with us. Mm -hmm. uh, and nobody has a perfect database. We do our absolute best. Tetiana screens the ladies by asking tricky, psychologically based questions, but it's not 100%. And that's why uh, we do unlimited coaching. You know, unlimited time with your wingman, basically. I'm your wingman, I got your back. You bounce off, you know, what this date's like and that date. How mm -hmm. was that for you, having that support? It was very helpful. I mean, it helped me a great deal. and. You know, based on my previ previous experiences also, uh, I just knew what was wrong and just uh, moved on and felt I knew uh, what was the right ones for me. And some ladies were very friendly, more like friendly dates, but mm. very, uh, very nice ladies. And I wish them 
to find their man, you know. But even though we weren't, we didn't take it to the next level. They were just classy about the whole, the whole thing, mm -hmm. and just uh, positive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did have a, a large choice, and like you said earlier, it was overwhelming. Mm -hmm. uh, so one really has to, you know, tap into everything. Tap into your intelligence, tap into your gut, tap into your heart mm -hmm. to make the right decision, right? This is probably one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make in your life, right? Yes. Yeah. Big decision. And I wanted mm -hmm. to say something about authenticity of the ladies. Um, you know, if I can speak frankly, <laughs> uh, no holds barred. Um, you know, you're a, you're a, how's the Canadian, you're an American postal worker, mm -hmm. right? So you, you're a mailman, you deliver the mail. It's a good, solid job. Mm -hmm. uh, but like you keep saying to your ladies, you're not a rich man, but you have a good, stable job. And here, the perception of a postal worker is even less than it is back home. You know, there's this perception when you tell a woman you're a post, you know, you're a postal delivery guy, mm -hmm. um, that you're kind of lower on the pecking order of society. And so, <laughs> So for you to meet a woman over here, like I received counseling when we were talking about onboarding you as a client. Can, can he be successful here? Mm -hmm. And so this was brought to my attention. I wasn't aware of it then. But what I'm really proud of is that it really shows, because you, you're Natasha, very clearly, very authentic into you, even jealous uh, that maybe you're still seeing somebody else or whatever. She, like, I mean, it's just so many signs of authenticity, right? Would you say? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and and, and mm -hmm. you know, she knows you're not a rich man, but you're a kind man. She sees the real attributes in you, and you guys are working towards walking down the aisle and building a happy family together. So that's what I'm really proud of. That you know, we have these authentic diamonds in the rough in our agency, and you know, I'll be very real to say that. You know, you, you had a couple of dates and you bounced it off me. Like, hey, she asked for 500 grievance for a taxi to go home. <laughs> What's up with that, Joe? Yeah. And how did I react? That wasn't a good sign, but. Yeah, I said to you, it's not a good yeah, sign. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't like that. I, I just knew, even before I mentioned it to you, I just knew, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. This sounds kind of shady, so. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and so that's why we do unlimited coaching and that's why I'm your wingman and got your back because mm -hmm. uh, I'm here to protect you. I'm here to help you sift and sort because it's a big decision, overwhelming. You're in overwhelm mode like you say. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just want to be really real with guys to say that we don't have a perfect database of 100% authentic. You no, know, you're going to get uh, your bad apples, that's for sure. Yeah, and it's not even uh, that she's per se a bad apple, but, you know, obviously, you know, whatever happens, she thought, oh, well, you know, whatever happens, it's a tough life here in Ukraine. And these ladies, you know, it, it's tough. And some of them are single moms and can't put food on the table for their kids sometimes. So mm -hmm. we just have to understand. So that, that doesn't necessarily mean she's a bad girl or whatever. She's an opportunist. Uh, guys need to understand this, uh, but I just want to say, you know, that you got a really good girl. You you went on eight or so dates, and uh, you know, you made a great decision. I think, and I think you got a really lovely lady, and you will have a happy future. Yes, she's an amazing woman, and uh, very affectionate, and that's what I need. Yeah. So. That's your first gift. And uh, the second gift is, we would like to pay for your wedding in Ukraine when you get married. Wow, that's so nice of you guys. So you're very welcome. We'll plan it here, up to 50 guests. And just so everybody knows, there, there is a hidden agenda. We use it as a marketing platform, as long as you don't mind us filming it and publishing mm -hmm. on YouTube and stuff like that. And we invite some clients. So, so the cool thing about that is you'll have some American or other you know, foreign men mm -hmm. at your wedding so to converse with, right? Because otherwise mm -hmm. everybody's speaking Ukrainian or Russian and you, you might feel a little bit alone. So hopefully it'll be healthy that way too. Be nice that way. Yeah, it's a good, good setting, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Good environment. So we'll plan it. It'll be 
very top notch. We'll have lots of um, performers there, like a fire fire uh, uh, fire show mm -hmm. and other different uh, games. It'll be an authentic Ukrainian wedding, so you'll get to experience that, which is really really cool. Sounds very special. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You did real well. And now for the next phase, you're going to go home, and you're going to go home for six plus months. And you gotta, you gotta light the fire. Yes. You know, keep that candle mm -hmm. yeah, burning. Yeah. This is, this is going to be a test, but it's going to be un, a test. undetermined. Mm -hmm. I mean, I made my choice. I want a good woman. Yeah. And so, on that note, I have a little gift here for you. Uh, to help you s s keep the fire stoked, you know, I, I, I mentioned to you uh, tips uh, about ke keep some keep some gifts in the office, and then just call up and say to Tatiana, "Yeah, I want to give Natasha a gift." So this is, this would be one little one in your arsenal, okay? And that's 150 grievances, right? So what? I don't know, six bucks, six bucks, but it's it's sterling silver and it's nice, and you know, when she because love languages we talked about, right? Mm -hmm. And gifts, I find in the Slavic countries, gifts are almost every woman's love language. Now, it might be their secondary love language, it might be their primary. So it really helps because you've got a six month window to keep that flame alive. And so that's your next challenge ahead of you, right? And, and that, that'll help. And, and I suggest you get a few other gifts before you go and, and then just give them to her every month. Send some flowers. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Yeah, you're very welcome. It means a lot. <laughs> well, you know I'm here for you, right? I'm your wingman. I mean, I want to see you be happy too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I have no question, no question, you will be, so. I'm just like any other guy, you know, who wants that partner in life, you know, yeah. to, to do special things. Yeah. I just want a good woman. And now you got one. Now you got one. <laughs>